GPT 5.2 versus Opus 4.5. Today, we're putting these two models to the test by challenging them to recreate Call of Duty. Remember, subscribe to Weekly Help. So let's start this video by creating a prompt. Write me a complete prompt to clone a Call of Duty game using 3JS. Here we go, we have our prompt. We can just copy all of this. Or we can just go back to cursor, paste the command, change the model to GPT 5.2 and then send it. We will do the same thing for Opus 4.5, paste the command, change the model, and then send it. Opus 4.5 is much faster compared to GPT 5.2, that's for sure. Because if we take a look here, we can see that it made a bunch of files already. Well, GPT 5.2 just have the following files. It is quite slow. Uh, you know what, while we're waiting for this, maybe we can just look for 3D models that we can use for this game. This one is nice. Maybe we can just download this. Shout out to Jay Toasty for this amazing model. Oh no, you gotta be shitting me. Ah, uh, connection failed. If the problem persists, please check your internet. I do have internet. What are you talking about? I have a really fast internet. Well, let's see if it's actually done. Okay, so we have Call of Duty created by GPT 5.2. Let's see if this is good. Click to play. There is nothing. Okay, since cursor is not working, I'm just gonna use warp. So we'll just change this to GPT 5.2. Extremely high. Okay, let's try it. Can you finish the game? I'm going to um, copy the same prompt just to give it context. So can you finish the game for context? This was my prompt. Let's just send that. Meanwhile. Okay, it looks like Opus 4.5 is done. And it's crazy because it opened this browser here to see if it's working. See, it's debugging itself. Okay, it looks like it's done. Maybe we can just test it right over here. We have click to start. And we have a... Wow. Hold on. I haven't done anything yet. What the fuck? Hey, get the fuck out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> when is it gonna respawn? Let's try and fix it. The respawn countdown is not working. But you know what? Everything looks good. I can even like focus like this. And now I have two guns. Oh my god. I'm dying so fast. What? No, that's not what I meant. I don't want to bookmark it. Oh my sh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where are the others? Where are they? Oh. Oh. Ah, sh. <laughs> I'm raging. <laughs> this is really good. This is really good. Maybe you can just change the models, change the environment, create buildings. Speaking of models, maybe we should start using it open the opus 4.5 folder and then inside of the src folder we're going to create a new folder called assets let's create a new folder models and we'll just add the model right over here and then we can go back to cursor okay no it's done but it's not rotated properly as you can see right so you need to fix that honestly we can just fix it ourselves i think it's the game config we have the following configurations all right so we have the model path we have model scale. We also have the model rotation and it's using math.py. Supposed to be math.py divided by two. Okay, let me try it again. There we go, just like that. But now we have two guns. Uh, let's just fix it. Okay, there you go. I died. Can we make the place bigger because I'm spawning in front of- Okay, the map is much bigger now. So we're not spawning in front of each other. I can see someone over there. Nah, I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> so yeah, this is really good. We have the 3D model. We have- We have everything. We have a nice looking map. We have boxes that I think you can... We even have visual effects like this one. This is crazy. <laughs> if I make this game using Unity, for example, it's gonna take me like 30 minutes. Opus just make this in like 14 minutes or something. Like, no, it's good. I'm not gonna prompt again. Maybe just make the bot dumber. GPT 5.2 is finally done. Let's see what it cooked. So we have player controller, we have weapons, we have bots, and we have HUD or UI. Okay, let's take a look at this. NPM install. Here is what GPT 5.2 created. We have the following heads up display. We have the health bar and we also have stamina. We have a timer and we also have the, um, the kill and death ratio. We have click to play. What the hell was that? The animation is crazy. Why is it so dark? The gun is not even 
hitting anything. The movement is also reversed. So I'm pressing W and I'm moving backwards. I'm pressing S and I'm moving forward. This is so bad. The movement is inversed. The mouse look is also inversed. Also, the bullets don't shoot towards the crosshair. Please fix. You know what? I'm just gonna change this to high reasoning because it's so slow. That was not a good start for GPT 5.2. I'm not gonna lie. This is bad. Hey guys. I'm an enemy, by the way. You guys are enemies. Oh, they're... Okay, pause, pause. A, A, A. Okay, now it's done. NPM run dev. At least the mouse look is fixed. The movement is also fixed. But yeah, this animation is just horrendous. And now the bullet is good. What the hell just happened? Did I just die? What the hell is this? Is that supposed to be stairs? I'm not even climbing up the... Oh my god, this is so bad. Why is it so dark? They're not even shooting me. Where are they going? Guys, what are we doing? What are we doing, guys? Guys, guys. Why is my gun shaking too much when I'm walking? Uh, it's not bad. Okay, I died. They're shooting at me now. That is crazy. Who is my enemy, by the way? Because I have no idea. Are you supposed to be my enemy? There we go. You know what? Let's proceed with the 3D model. So we're just gonna use the same prompt and see if GPT 5.2 can actually make something similar to what Opus 4.5 created. <laughs> yeah, it also did the same mistake, like the rotation. The whole rotation is wrong. Use math.py divided by 2. <laughs> Look at me. I'm shaking. I apologize. I did not eat breakfast. That's why I'm shaking right now. I want to try something. Can you check if there are animations in the FBX? Oh yeah, so it managed to fetch the animations. We have idle, we have shoot, and we have reload. Okay, let's see if we can use those animations. Let me shoot. Let me reload. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Look, I'm reloading. Maybe I could have asked um, Claude to do the same thing. Honestly, I'm just not so satisfied with what GPT created. So I just want to see if it can do something like this. Yeah, this is much better. See? The reloading animation is working just fine. So let me know what you guys think. Which LLM did a better job? Is it GPT 5.2 or Opus 4.5? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe for more videos like this one. Don't forget to also like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.